Hey guys, what is going on? It is Dunbar Stackbar here with Madden 13, and we have got some Flint Beastwood coming at you here in this one. And it's been so tough saying Flint Beastwood the last few days here because Clint Eastwood, who obviously the name Flint Beastwood is derived from, has been in the news after the speech that he gave at the Republican National Convention. Um, at, at first, that uh, speech that he gave, I thought was actually pretty funny. And then uh, he starts talking to an empty chair that's supposed to have Barack Obama in there. And, and the first time he cracks a couple jokes, I'm like, oh, Clint Eastwood, you are a jokester. And then it starts to end up being kind of creepy because the conversation that he has with the chair ends up being ridiculously long and you could totally tell that he hadn't prepared anything for it either so um, with him being in the news and me kind of talking about it with my friends and stuff like that I've been saying Clint Eastwood a lot so I'm afraid that I'm gonna instead of say Flint Beastwood I'm gonna say Clint Eastwood here but just wanted you guys to see why the flag was thrown right there with uh, roughing the passer definitely deserved that one here anyway fumble for us we end up losing it. Michael Bush can't have you do that. Now, once we hit the second quarter of the game, uh, all the second stringers are in here. So, not expecting too much out of these guys here. It is nice, though, that we were able to get a 13-0 lead here going into the second quarter. So, if I can just keep things going and continue to build off of that momentum, yeah, this game is already in the bag here. Um... Now, the thing that uh, about the Bears here since Clint Beastwood has joined them. See, I did it. I did it. I said Clint. Flint Beastwood uh, has been on the team here. Now, granted, I know this is just preseason ball, so I shouldn't look too much into it here. But um, offensively, we are 31st in the National Football League here with total offense and defense. We're number one. Hey, but I have no control over defense. So, mad props, computer? No, I'm not going to give props to the computer. I'm playing the computer all the time. Beastwood gets sacked. I think I'm just going to stick with Beastwood here so I don't say Clint again. All right, so back in the pocket here. Just trying to do some stuff a little bit differently here. Um, those of you who watched the Ultimo team, um, I went with a lot of slant plays. It just works really, really well. And when I got a team as bad as my Ultimo team, uh, you got to go with the slants. Now with this, I'm going to be going with uh, just, I don't know, a kind of different approach here. Of course, I'm going to go with slants every once in a while because it's going to work and I need to get yards, uh, which is going to help me out considerably. Plus, it kind of helps me get to know how Flint Beastwood and the Chicago Bears are going to play. Uh, since I'm starting a career with them here, we're going to be playing this here for a long time. So we better get these guys figured out. Uh, really, I'm excited to be able to do this mode here as well because I see what I can do with the Chicago Bears right now, not just in-game, but also with the practice part as well. Uh, for those of you who don't have Madden yet, uh, right before every game, you have the opportunity to do a practice mode that's going to allow you to build up your experience points, which you can use to go ahead and spend on your player to make them better. So, of course, I do that here before every single game. Um, just so that way I can build up Flint Beastwood here for the long run. Because every time I make uh, a my player, this is a definite investment here in the game. Uh, just, just to come here. But anyway, thought I cut this out. I don't care. We're going to keep it. All right, 33 seconds left here in the half. That was a bad throw. Dang it, Beastwood. Why would you do that? Obviously, I'm going to have to work on his short-range passes here. Short to mid-range uh, mid is something I want to go ahead and build up for him here because if I'm going to have to rely on those slants every once in a while, i got to make sure I have the accuracy to do it. But Not able to get the touchdown here, but we are able to get the field goal here, so it'll be 16 to nothing here as we head into the locker rooms at the half. So having a 16-point lead is not bad at all. The thing is, is I started off here with a 13-point lead, so the, with all the time that I've spent so far here in this game, as much time has passed, I only have three points to show for it, and not too many yards here passing uh, or running. Now, uh, with the experience I had with Bush, I don't want to go ahead and hand it to him uh, to be able to go through and, and just run the ball because he's fumbled it once. But now I go ahead and intercept it. So 
I guess I should just let go of both of those. Because you know as a quarterback, if you throw an interception, you just have to let it go. You dwell on it, you're going to have a lot of mistakes, um, and you're going to keep remembering it, and then you're going to overcompensate for stuff, whatever. But uh, with a hat back here too, I'm kind of doing the exact same thing. I'm just, I don't know, too worried about it. I should just let it go and keep things going. But 53.8% uh, completion uh, percentage here right now. Not too bad for Beastwood here. Remember, he is a rookie. I did have him uh, as a high draft pick, though, so he'd be pretty decent here right off of the gate. But still, there's a lot for him to learn and a lot of things for me to build up here with him. Just so that way uh, we get the Chicago Bears as many wins as we can and a lot of Lombardi trophies as well. My gosh, another fumble. Redskins picked that one up here. You saw they uh, got a field goal here since they have three points on the board. And now off of this fumble, they could go ahead and we'll capitalize on it. Unfortunately for them, they don't, but that's a good thing for me here. Bush getting the first down. And that's what's one of the things that's really frustrating about um, playing as a quarterback. When it comes to the running game, I can't tell the halfback where to run. So they're going to make some pretty dumb moves, which I thought they did right there. Could have picked up at least five more yards, I think, if you had played that run well. But... That time I was hoping I'd be able to get some yards on the ground myself here. Didn't happen, of course, here. All right, so those are going to be the last seconds here of the fourth quarter. So seven minutes left in the game. We are up by 13. So two touchdowns here, and they're in the lead. And my gosh, my receivers have not been able to hold onto the ball at all to save their life. Yeah, what just happened? I have no idea. We can go back and watch this replay, and I will still have no idea what was going on. Because I saw that there was a lot of green in front of me here, so I'm like, all right, well, I'm going to just run in between a couple offensive linemen here uh, so I don't um, kind of let the computer figure out what I'm doing. Pick up some yards. Yeah, I picked up yards, but it was not pretty. Michael Bush making it third and inches here after that run. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and just do this myself here. Get the first down here. So Flint Beastwood, I've really been surprised too at how many yards he's gotten on the ground here in this one. Because usually with a quarterback, especially with a the rookie, they're going to be pretty slow here. And um, I get it right there, but I've also gotten you know, some good runs here in this game. It's kind of fun. I always like being able to run as a quarterback, but it's such a dangerous thing to do if you don't slide. And I think I've got a little bit more down in Madden than I do in NCAA since they play a little bit different from each other. And I think Madden is actually uh, a little slower in the overall gameplay than NCAA. Call me crazy. That's just what I think here. But um, there we go. Now you make the catch. So really, it's a matter of us running down the clock here. I know with it being preseason, I shouldn't be too worried about my wins and losses here. But um, who wants to lose, though? Two-minute warning is going to go ahead and stop the clock here, second and four. So Redskins trying to figure out how they're going to stop me here and give them enough time to be able to score a touchdown here. But Bush, thank you for that one here. Breaks a tackle, gets to the seven-yard line here. And the Redskins are going to have to call timeout. So let's go ahead and get the touchdown here. At least make it as close as possible here. Bennett making the catch, not able to cross the plane here. And we are looking at one yard to get to the end zone. Yep, I take it. I jump over. And that actually looked kind of crazy. That was a ballsy move right there by Beastwood. Flint, my man. Watch this here. So just takes it. Hops over everybody. I don't even know how he got those jumps. I didn't do it. Those are some nice ups right there. All right, anyway, getting the extra point here. 23 to 10 is where we're at right now with a minute 49 left here. So computer not able to do anything here on their next drive except go ahead and use up a timeout. I'm just going to go ahead and kneel it here, and we're going to come away with win number two here for Flint Beastwood in also week number two of the preseason. So Bears... They are looking good. Watch out, you guys. The Bears are going to be contenders, I think, for some time here, especially when you got Flint Beastwood here behind center. But anyway, appreciate you guys watching this. More, of course, to come here in the next few days with Flint Beastwood and some of the other my players. 
Um, and those of you who are Husker fans, don't forget to watch the game that I posted right before this. Um, but again, you guys, you are awesome. You really are. Subscribe if you haven't already. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you guys just want to be on the know or be in the know, excuse me, as to what's going on here with my life, with the channel, all that good stuff. Um, but really, you guys are awesome. I would not do this without you here. So thanks again. And as always, I hope you guys have a good one.